three pound fishing for Grizzly Jig TV. Wintertime fishing for diehards, that means finding a power plant lake. Doesn't matter the temperature, whether it's warm, it's cold, diehards are out there all the time. So we need a power plant lake when we live in the Midwest, because sometimes those lakes actually do freeze over. Now typically, we'd be fishing with a bobber, a float, you name it, uh, with a jig or a minnow underneath it. But today, we're finding out that what's working is actually some action. So curly tails, road runners, that's what we're fishing for. Folks, if you can't catch fish like this, check this out. Now, how's that for a monitor? Folks, this is what you want to see. You've got fish under the boat and you've got big shadows to the right and left. And all throughout the day, we had them going from one side to the other. Man, this is exactly what you want to see when you're winter fishing. That's what winter crappie look like. So we do is we got, definitely have to mix it up. So you have to try, start with a float, try with a, one single jig, maybe a 1 16th ounce head, mix it up to a minnow. If you're still not getting the action, consider the depth that you're fishing. We typically, we typically start around six to eight feet. And uh, today, without a doubt, curly tail is the answer. In the winter time on Lake of Egypt, uh, clear color, colors work best. Uh, monkey milk, uh, bluegrass. I'm gonna use Patriot today with that green head, of course. And that's where I'm gonna start. So Patriot by Bobby Garland right there. I'll be throwing some crappie monster uh, plastics on there as well. That, my friends, with a float, is how we're gonna start the day off. Looking for schools of crappie in shallower water. Now Wintertime crappie fishing is some of the most peaceful crappie fishing you're gonna get. I mean, there are no boats on the water and you're not getting pressure by other fishermen at all. I mean, essentially the lake is all your own and these fish are feeding. We're talking big fish. Just a fantastic time to be out on the water. It's amazing how many diehard crappie fishermen are in Southern Illinois. I'm very proud of that. Uh, obviously, we have Southeast a Southeast Missouri and Southeast Missouri. That's where weights from. <laughs> uh, it, you know, diehard fishermen need power plant lakes. They need places to fish during the winter time. I, I can't imagine being a diehard and not having the ability to fish. Interesting. We've got minnows. Anything on the float has not worked. They're a little closer to the ground, maybe because the sun's up. But they definitely are liking that curly tail action. There's another one. Every cast now. This is a bigger fish. Winter crappie fishing with diehards like my buddy Wade. Woo, baby! Check it out! It's a bluegrass kind of day. Well, folks, I'm glad to be back for Grizzly Jig TV, and I look forward to a great 2019. And let me tell you, get out there in the winter, folks. It's just some great fishing. Fish. Woo <laughs> That's a good fish. Alright, that was my crap. Grizzly Jig TV, thanks for watching.